What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mose to the Joe and we uh about to get started on this on this header thing, so Alright y'all, so what's happening y'all? Y'all see I got my coveralls on and everything. So like I said in the last video, I had just got off from work and the car is nice and warm, so of course I did my usual routine to see if, if it was a fluke last time or not. So the car is hot, jacked it up, sprayed it with PB Blast and let it sit for like 5-10 minutes. And then I got in here and immediately started breaking bolts. I was trying to break the bolts loose. I'm not actually going to get hard and heavy in it because it's the middle of the week. But I'm setting myself up for working on this thing on Friday. So, that's what I got. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the PB Blaster dripping off of everything off the header. But with the, uh, the J-Pipe still there, I was able to get in there with a 14 millimeter and an extension. 14 millimeter deep socket and a long extension. And I was able to break the header bolts loose. They're loose already. And then the, um, the J-Pipe bolts, these bolts are loose too. So I can, I can turn, it's still hot, shit is still hot. But uh, I broke that bolt loose right there. And uh, I'm noticing right here, these are melting because of the heat from this J-pipe. So I'm definitely going to be wrapping this. So the next thing you see is going to be me. Uh, I'm going to start with the J-pipe. Uh, oh. Got a neighbor over there cutting the yard. But uh, I'm going to take the J-pipe off first. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap that. And I guess that will be the first video. And then the next video after that will be me uh, starting the process of taking the header out so I already pretty much got some of the, the hard part of it is done kinda I still gotta take the bolts off and separate the header from the turbo but I think I'll probably be okay right there but uh pull that out of there and then um I'll show y'all what happened next so right now I'm gonna I'm going to uh I'm gonna continue on with taking this uh J pipe off here and then we're gonna wrap this thing and then sit it to the side and then we'll get started on the header this is day two so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take off this uh, take off the J pipe so I already did a video on how to how I did the J pipe so I'll link that it'll be matter of fact in your top right hand corner I'll put it right there and uh, y'all can check that video out if you want to go you want to see the entire process of how I took the header out did the same thing on this one so I'm just gonna take it off and then once I get it on the bench I'll show y'all you know basically how I'm gonna wrap the thing so uh let's go and do that so I'll see y'all as soon as I get this thing off and get back on the table so I got it off of there wasn't that bad it was, it was fairly easy like I said you know I had a head start on it I when I brought the car home after a drive home from work it was nice and warmed up so I sprayed the PB blaster all over the bolts let it sit for like five ten minutes and then I went on ahead and I started breaking the bolts and uh, I was able to go ahead and it, it, I, I actually broke all of the bolts. You know, the ones on the header, I broke those loose. And then I got the J-pipe off of there, which was, I guess that anti-seize really worked out as far as, far as the uh, the um, the J-pipe. Right now, oh man, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up to a certain point. So I'm going to start on this end. Probably not gonna do the hell the whole thing like I was showing y'all on that other clip that uh the actual sway bar mount was starting to melt, so definitely time to freaking go on ahead and wrap this thing. So shoot, let's go on ahead and get this party started. Okay, so I pretty much got it. I did the same measuring technique I used on the header, and I'm a um I'm gonna make my length about as big as this piece right here, so that way then I have a little bit more slack. But you know, I went from from this end on where it connects to the turbo all the way back to here. And what I did is I'm uh I did the same thing where I make sure I measured it from the middle of the lane. So I like let's say for instance, starting from from right here, I would go to the halfway point here, like I did before, and slide that down put it to the end right here and then this would be the second wrap so I would call that two so I figured it would be anywhere from 25 to 26 loops 
at about this length. So I'm going to go ahead and um, so I got a new roll here. I'm going to measure that out and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that the way that I can go on and start wrapping this thing because it's going to be a little bit different just because it's different sizes and I got to go around these little holes right here. So I'm going to have to figure that out. It's going to be pretty interesting here. So uh, once I get this measured out, I'm ready to start wrapping. I'll, uh, I'll cut y'all back on so y'all can see what I'm doing. So now I got it taped up okay. I mean, I had to leave a couple of open spots because I got to put my ground wire right there. And taping this up is a little bit more difficult than the header. So let's go ahead and spray this thing down with the protector and go from there. And half is coming soon. Sit up straight when she enters the room. Be enthused, but don't look too amused. This is a queen dumb. All right, y'all, my battery died on me. It's probably the longest I ever had a camera on. But uh, but right now, this is what it looks like. Please excuse the noise from my neighbors cutting the yard, but uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. The next video is gonna be me actually doing taking the header out doing everything we need to do go through the process to take the header out we're going to drop it in and then put the other header in and then we're going to go through the whole installing process and i'll show y'all everything that i got and we'll i'll do a, once i put that in but first off let me let me let me not get too far ahead of myself the next video is going to be me taking the old header out and putting the new header in so all right y'all sorry about that man I mean, they be riding the lawnmower down the street like it's a car. I mean, I, I, whatever. Anyway, like I was saying, the next video we do is going to be me dropping the header. You know, because uh, I haven't started anything that's... The only thing I've done thus far is just I broke all of the header bolts loose. So they're ready to just unscrew and drop out. I just got to pinch off all the lines and, and set the... Uh, disconnect everything from the turbo and then I can drop that thing down there. But we'll get into that video on the next one. 
So uh, thank y'all, all my new subscribers, man. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Keep showing the love. Keep giving me the support, bruh. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, throw some comments in there, man. I try and stay on top of comment to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you don't have to do that, and you do. So least I can do is try to answer back. But uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.